Hey, my Kelman 8,000 watt generator I found on the curbside, it's got a floating neutral, and that's the purpose of this video. 8,000 watts, 10,000 watts surge. And what's interesting over here is the 250 volt on here, 240 volt circuit. These are the two hots. That is not the neutral. The manual implies that this is actually neutral. So you got 120 volts, 120 volts. A mine, I don't know if somebody's messed with it, could be, but there is, this is not neutral. It's connected up to ground, the frame of the generator, but it's not connected up to the center tap between the two windings. On mine, you get 240 volts across this, but you have no uh, 110 volts. This is just basically floating. So it's dangerous if you try to hook this up as like a backup generator to a house. You know, the split phase. A mine, the way it is, is you've got circuit breaker, circuit breaker, winding feeds this, feeds the two hots. The two connectors here are not connected together. They feed up to this terminal, which is 125 volts. There's another white wire comes back here to the duplex plug. But this is not connected to this terminal. A mine's got a factory green wire ground that connects this socket up to this one but it's not connected and it's also connected to the frame like this is because this is connected through the frame but on mine the neutral is actually floating and if you go over here on the a manual here it's for third edition of small generators this particular one is showing that it actually is on a 240 volt, it's got three wire, four wires, and it actually is connected. A mine, for some strange reason, it's not, and that's just the purpose of this video. Hots, that is not the neutral. They've got one side of the 120 going on here for RV use, say 30 amp circuit. There's another one here, the ground fault, that's on here. So the output from the generator here goes through two circuit breakers and it goes to the two hots here. The neutral, which is those two whites, are tied together. They go over and connect up to here. Then there's another neutral wire connects over to here. One of the hots off this goes down to this circuit breaker and then feeds this circuit. So over here, output from the generator, yeah, I'll get batter over here. Output from the generator goes through a big circuit breaker to this side of the range plug. The other side goes into here. They peel off this, go to the RV type socket that's um, anema. 1530 so the two whites feed that this other white goes over here and feeds the ground fault input so this is 120 volts 20 amps ground fault this is like an RV one that's 120 volts uh, 30 amps so there's no neutral on this I was told by somebody oh yeah that's the neutral and which it's clearly not that's just basically a ground pin. If you go over to here, that's the green wire on there. So I was going to rewire this so you could hook it up to a house or just for loading to test one side versus the other instead of going through these two sockets. i got to replace that because that went under water in Katrina. And I need to do a load testing to see if this actually uh, will put out full output. I was playing around with the brushes before on this thing. Replace the brushes. On another video, you pop this out, and there's a slip ring on there. And there's two sets of diodes that are, uh, excite, um, rectifies, and has a big capacitor in there. And it's 130 microfarad, 200 volts of powers uh, the field on there. So I'm not really sure if this is actually going to have any. The engine will run. The carburetor's kind of messed up. I was running this on propane. 
but I want to go ahead and hook this up to a bigger load and get enough natural gas in there. I'm going to run this on natural gas as an experiment before I fool around. A carburetor for this sucker is a hundred bucks and this one here is all hosed up on here but I was running before this putting uh, propane down the throat of that for some weird reason, they had the RPM set really low, like 2,400 instead of 3,600. That's got an opposed twin on there, 42 cubic inch. And it was completely full of gasoline um, and oil when I got this off the street on the curbside. So I've been trying to revisit this thing, but I was kind of dumbfounded because I'd was told that that was the neutral, which didn't make any sense because the screen wire on there, and that doesn't, that's completely isolated on this unit from, um, it's not the neutral. And I probably should have known just looking at the plug there, but most generators have, on 240 volts, have a neutral, so you can hook this up as like a, a sub-panel for backup power, but this unit doesn't do this. This is an old Kamen, uh, Coleman uh, Advantage 8000 unit and it's got full flathead engine got a oil filter on it so it's going to burn more gas because it's a flathead and it's from 1998 so if I get this going I really don't know if it's going to have any long life because the winding may be on borrowed time the um, rotor and stator on there may be um, have a bunch of corrosion so if I get this going it might be that it's just going to run for a while and short out so I don't want to spend any big money on this but I hadn't really I was just going through the trying to figure out the schematic of this because online there's one for 7,000 but not an 8,000 so you get two circuit breakers to the 35 amps you can see in there and I guess the other one is 20 I can't it doesn't have a marking on it the amperage I can read but clearly the two whites there which are the neutral just connect up to here and then they go over to the neutral on this they're not connected to this in fact you can own this out it's not connected at all so I'm going to probably if this works I'll probably replace this with a four wire one like for a range so I've got a neutral and a ground pull that out that's a standard plug from like Home Depot which is kind of cool now over here came with it there was a cord over here that was like a dryer plug to dryer plug and the person that was using this had this plugged into the generator and then into their uh, if you can believe it to their house through a uh, a range outlet which means it's can apply 240 but there's no neutral which is totally crazy so that's going to be totally unbalanced and maybe that's why they didn't know what the heck they had here it's got electric start supposedly this was rebuilt after Katrina but which is the oddest thing on here is the uh, setting for the uh, governor this is way the heck off it was putting out it was only running two-thirds the rpm which really doesn't make any sense at all so maybe they didn't know what the heck they're doing or they just kind of ripped the guy off that's just something i pulled off the street so it's got zero cost in it and i bought another carburetor off ebay and that was piece of junk these things are kind of righteous in price they make a three screw and a four screw version here and my plan is not even to run this thing on gasoline unless you know if I can get it to go and it's got some reliability I'll go ahead and run it on uh, might hook it up to run on gas too but there's no use spending the money on that if it's just going to be junked but the engine seems to run fairly well on propane and I was running at 3600 RPM. I had to twist, twist the heck out of this knob, so it was biased way the heck off in speed. And I've got the air cleaner off. That's a 42 cubic inch 
built in 1998. And there's the fuel on this. Probably wouldn't run long. It's probably got about four or five gallons uh, capacity. Again, there's no neutral on the 240 volt circuit. And that's how supposedly they're trying to run this. So if you did run this, what you'd have to do is use these two here and then hook another circuit and pull the neutral off of here, which would be this one here. You'd have to have a plug and pull the neutral off of here and then use these two for the hots and pull that off as a neutral if you actually hook this thing up to your uh, a sub panel or something to power a house for backup. The rotors and stators are for these things are priced more than what sometimes um, you can get a whole new generator. So I think sometimes these get scrapped. Or I think there's a guy in Arkansas rebuild the uh, rotors and stators for you. I'm not sure if it's economically possible, but it's a pretty beefy unit. There's no AVR in this thing in the sense that when it runs, it's just got a um, big field voltage uh, exciter winding that goes through and excites and pow powers DC voltage. I want to say between 150 volts to the field, but there's no regulator. There's no AVR in this. It's just uh, got a big beefy winding, so it tends to be sort of stiff. When I was running this earlier, I was only putting out about 110 volts, but... Uh, I didn't really do that much of a test over a wide range of road loads, and I need to go ahead and revisit that. So I was just opening this up to look at this and kind of had forgotten. Hadn't really measured this on 240, but I guess I wrongly assumed that this did have a neutral connected there. But sure heck doesn't. This one up in Katrina to about here, so... I've taken all the marsh grass off of the thing, and it might be just a basket case, but since it's free, it's something to play with.